In this episode of Trail Recon, my son Jordan and I headed off to Flagstaff, Arizona to check out Overland Expo West 2017. Overland Expo is one of the largest events of its kind in North America, and it brings hundreds and hundreds of overlanders together to share their experiences and learn about the latest equipment and just enjoy the weekend in the forest. So sit back, relax, and join us as we share with you our amazing weekend. Show you many of the awesome overland rigs we saw, get up and close with a couple cool products, and talk with some awesome folks we had the pleasure of meeting while we were there. I am admittedly new to overlanding. And because I plan on venturing out further and further to tackle new trails further away from home, I want to be more self-contained on my trips in the future. So seeing all the rig designs, products available, and just having an opportunity to meet with some off-road enthusiasts, a couple fellow YouTube creators, and more importantly, several channel subscribers was something I was really looking forward to at Overland Expo 2017. So guys, when we were pulling up the camp, the camp host directed us where to park. And it was really cool that we get out of the car and Jordan's like, hey, those guys are Canadian in front of us. I'm like, they're not just Canadian, that's the YouTube channel 410 Expedition. Yeah. And well, how random is it that <laughs> out of all these hundreds and hundreds of Jeeps out here and yeah. rigs out here, that it's just two YouTubers that pull right up, man. Uh, Tappy, it's great to meet you. Brad, please meet you. When I saw that uh, you were up and I saw your face, I'm like, I know that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that is the guy from Trail Recon. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's great to meet you. Yeah. Chappy, tell us a little bit about what you do over there. Uh, well, on the Canadian side of things, uh, the overland scene is very in the infancy stage. So we're trying to gain uh, more knowledge from people like you and people in the U.S. and bring that knowledge back into Canada and be the go-to guys for either gear reviews, installs, uh, trips that we do. People shout out to us saying, hey, do you know a great place that we can go camp off grid? Because we do, we do have a lot of national parks. But we also have some great forestry trunk roads that allows you to go camp, random camp. You guys here call it primitive camping. Right. We call it random camp up in Canada. So we love to inspire people and our, our, our main motto is to get out and explore. Yeah. And basically we don't care what you drive, just get out there and explore. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've been a subscriber for your channel for a long time. Thank you. Uh, and I love the scenery with you. You know, I'm a Pacific Northwest guy yeah. and I love the trees and the forest and all that and seeing where you go and your expeditions man it's uh, it's Thank great you. I appreciate your videos guys please go over there and uh, and check out his website make sure you subscribe thanks buddy it's great Thank to meet you. you man thanks Brad thanks there were several Jeeps at the expo and we were really looking forward to checking out some of the vendors cool products and seeing some different modifications some folks had check out this cool product from Trail Kitchen Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Hans from Trail Kitchens, and you have a very, very cool system we'd really like uh, to take a look at. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure, this is our new Wrangler camping system, and it's essentially a water system and a portable camp kitchen in one unit. The unit's sized so that we can put a refrigerator slide and a 37-quart refrigerator on top. The slide will pull out here. Yeah. There's a 500-pound rated slide for the main unit. Pulls out. The flip up table. Nice. And oh, I like how the straps come out. That's pretty cool. You have support there. Then the camp kitchen comes up and out and actually deploys to that unit there. Uh, no water heater in there. Uh, the one on the left. Kitchen with table. Everything fits inside. All your, your stove, your utensils. Your cookware, everything in one box. Right. That was what we tried to do originally, was really simplify that whole process. Um, in the water side, we have a six gallon uh, reservoir in here. It can also pull from an external source. Marine 
quality tap and pump, 45 PSI pump, three and a half gallon capacity. You can add a hot water heater to oh, the unit. That's it awesome. has a little mounting bracket and it's run off the propane. Runs off propane and you can use this for dishes or you can take a shower with it. 36,000 BTU heater. You can heat water, 50 degree water yeah. from anywhere from 105 to 140 degrees. Man, that's awesome. On, the unit itself is 70 pounds. The camp kitchen version, the, that camp kitchen is 25 pounds. Pretty easy for two people to lift in, five yeah. minute mounting, use the factory tie downs and ratchet straps. I love it, and so you're not adding a ton of weight on there. That's very cool. Yeah, we, the idea was to keep it light and manageable to load and unload, awesome. right? If, so, uh, if folks wanted to find out more information, where can they go to find out about it? Trailkitchens.com. We got all kinds of information. There's videos on how these units set up. Okay. Um, we'll have some more extensive information on this Wrangler unit towards the end of the month as well. But very it's cool. up on the site now. Awesome. Well, man, thank you very much for thank showing you. us this. This is very cool. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks. One thing my son and I noticed right away was there were rooftop tents everywhere you looked. There were rooftop tents on trucks. There were rooftop tents on Jeeps. There were rooftop tents on Toyotas. There were rooftop tents on these massive big rigs. There were pop-up rooftop tents and there were clamshell rooftop tents. There were orange rooftop tents and green rooftop tents. Did I mention there was a lot of rooftop tents there? There were a lot of Toyotas represented at Overland Expo, and these were some very well-built and capable rigs. Very impressed with some of how well these were built. We did meet up with somebody who's very experienced in overlanding in Toyotas. So guys, we're running into all kinds of YouTubers, and man, uh, Expedition Overland's out here. You guys got a great booth and a great setup, man. It's great to, Thank you. Great to meet you. Yeah, and, nice uh, to meet you too. Love you guys' channel. Um, what do you got going on? Well, right now, um, this is our, I think, our sixth year at Overland Expo. Sure. Uh, we're doing, it's probably the best booth we've had. Yeah, we're really nice. excited about it. Thank you. And uh, from here, uh, we have our three trucks. We have our Tacoma, uh, our brand new Land Cruiser, and Rufio from our previous seasons right. are headed to Houston to get put on containers and uh, get shipped to Columbia. Yeah. And this summer, we're filming the South American season three. Uh, we've done Alaska, Yukon, Central America, and now we're about to head down to South America for a three-month expedition uh, filming down there for a season that will release later this fall. Yeah, I'm so. really looking forward to it. We, my son and I have watched all your uh, your expeditions, man. It's been Your production value is great. So, Thank you. Uh, thanks for, I know you're busy, yeah, busy, no but problem. thanks for taking time to talk to us. Absolutely. Guys, uh, make sure you go over there and check out Expedition Overland and check out all the stuff they got coming up. It's uh, great videos. Appreciate it. We stopped by the Land Rover booth and took a look at one of their rigs and took it out on the trail. I gotta say, man, these things are beautiful inside. I mean, it's just so luxurious. But you know, I can't see taking this thing out and getting it all muddy. But man, it's pretty capable for a little SUV for sure. It's been an awesome day at Overland Expo today, guys. It's been really cool checking out all the different vendors and cool rigs. So we're back here, we're gonna do uh, a little dinner and we keep it simple. We do uh, pizza burritos, so a little tortilla. We throw some little pizza sauce on there. A little mozzarella cheese. And this is something, this is something, I don't know, for whatever reason, we did these a long time ago and we've just always been making these. And they're really good and they're super simple. And you can make a lot of them pretty quick, so if it's a bunch of us that are out camping or whatever, you can make one of these in just a couple minutes. And you know, when I got a, a beast of a boy over here that eats, you know, making uh, three or four of these fills him up pretty good. So it's just something we've been doing for a while. So Jordan, what do you think? Uh, what's been your favorite part of Overland Expo? Uh, just seeing all the rigs and everything. Yeah, it's like a huge car show. Yeah, right? even just around the campsite, there's just so much to see. Yeah.
The next morning, after a good hot and warm cup of coffee, we just kind of soaked in the campsite. We really just walked around and checked out all the amazing rigs. And these were just owner's vehicles that had driven here. There were some that were really unique. There were some that were very expensive, but I must say, I just enjoyed checking them all out. It was really interesting. You know, one vehicle that we were looking for was Cherokee XJs because, you know, we're building our Cherokee and we were hoping to find some good ideas, but they weren't really well represented out there. There were only a couple, but there was one that we knew really well. So many cool rigs out here, guys. But you know, when we see an XJ, you know we got to stop and say hi. And lo and behold, this one is from Bleepin' Jeep. Tyler's out here, man. Good to see you, man. Good How's things going? You. Things are going really good, really good. The Expo's was, awesome, right? Expo's awesome. It was kind of fun to bump into you guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling in the Jeep yesterday just to get it parked, and these two show up, and I'm like, I, I know this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I know this guy. So we had to take a minute to say hello, man. How's everything going with uh, Bleepin' Jeep? Bleepin' Jeep's awesome. Uh, we just got back about two weeks ago from a, a trail trip where Tim, Matt, and I were actually in the same place at one time for the first time ever. Tim's been out to Matt's and Tim's been at, oh, out to visit me, but we've never all three been in the, been in the same place. Yeah. So if you guys watch for uh, some trip videos coming up, there's going to be, I think three. Tim's going to do a video, Matt's going to do a video, and I'm going to do a video on, on three of different trail rides that we did during that that week awesome so well cool man well i know i'll be looking forward to it for sure well thanks for uh thanks for talking to us real quick it's man I, I, know you, I know you're busy hey guys if you are, are not following uh bleeping jeep you need to be you know there is a lot of information out there especially if you're an xj owner even if you're not just learning about jeeps and jeep parts it's a great channel guys make sure you go check it out come check it out nice to see you guys on trail recon see ya there were a lot of nice off-road trailers at the expo our favorite one was this X1 by Patriot Campers. Man, this thing has everything you could possibly want out on the trail to be self-sustained. It's just awesome built rig and definitely capable of hitting the trails. But the sticker shock, man, that got us quite a bit. 38,000 for this. What do you think, is it worth it? If you've been following the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I really enjoy taking a look at off-road lights. The folks at Rigid were out here and they have a brand new light bar. We just had to stop and talk with them and check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Richie from Rigid Lights and they've got this really new cool light bar. The wind is crazy out here. Hopefully the audio comes through, but man, tell us about this cool new light bar you've got. So we've got our new Adapt Series light bar out here okay. showing it off. And this light is brand new to the industry, never before seen. You've got a few different options with this light. One, it's completely aerodynamic, so you have no wind noise behind the light. You also have over 200 different backlight colors that you can choose from. And you can, depending on the environment you're in, you can actually change the optic of the light to adapt to your needs. So you can go from a 15 degree spot beam to a combo to a 90 degree flood beam all in one light. That's really, really cool. That's uh, that's awesome. Yeah, well, everything runs off of one switch, no bigger than a business card. Very cool, and that's so customizable. And I love the fact that you guys branding it no wind noise, because I know that was a problem with an old light bar I had, which is great, so very cool. That was the first thing that was on our list, is to make sure we came out with a light bar that you can add to your roof without any wind noise. Awesome. Well guys, make sure you head over to their website and check it out. Uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to get a really good up and close uh, look at it, but thanks for talking to us, I appreciate it. Thank you. There were a lot of full-size and oversized overland vehicles there. You know, you gotta love an earth roamer. These things are so well built. They're just a beautiful vehicle, but who can afford one of those, right? Some of the military vehicles were awesome, but they're just so large. I can't ever see Trail Recon taking one of these out on a trail. Great vehicles, but our favorite one was this fire truck. Check this one out. Hey guys, the cool thing about Overland Expo is there's all these cool rigs just everywhere. We were walking through the parking lot and we saw this thing that looked like a fire truck and we met Alex who was getting ready to leave and we had to stop him and ask him, dude, tell us a little bit about your rig, man. This is awesome. So it's a 98, 1988 Aveco. It started out as a fire truck. Um, we imported it from Germany and uh, now we're working on converting it into a camper for the family. And uh, so far we've utilized the stock, the factory box that it came with. Uh, we took out all the interior racking and stuff that they had for their fire equipment and uh, set it up with a queen size bed here. We've got 100 gallons of fresh water there. 100 gallons? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we can go a little way. Yeah. You know? And then we have the Howling Moon tent on the other side. Yeah. It holds out for my older kids. And uh, onboard generator. It's 12 and 24 volts, so we got power 
and, and 110. Um, yeah, it's four wheel drive. It's uh, it's, yeah. it's amazing. You've done an awesome job with a fire truck. It's the coolest thing I've Thank seen you. out here today, man. Overland Expo has been an awesome event. It exceeded our expectations. I mean, this was really cool, don't you think? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, there was so much to see here, all the cool vendors and the cool rigs, but really I think the highlight was meeting all the community of Overlanders, man. There's so many good folks just wanting to talk and about their rigs and about their equipment, and it was just really cool. It was great to get up with some fellow YouTubers and chat with them, but most importantly, meeting with some of you guys, the fellow subscribers, man, it was just, it was just awesome uh, getting able to shake your hands and talk to you. Hey, uh, thanks for watching this video guys. We've got lots more to come. Uh, until next time, we'll see you out on the trail.